My name is Carlisle Holman Scott, class of 72. I was a psychology major at Catawba. And um, I have to share a very special story with you uh, the summer, uh, excuse me, the uh, Thanksgiving of 1969. There were three other girls and I who were um, taking advantage of our Thanksgiving vacation to travel up north on uh, Highway 81. And we um, left here that day. It was a very, very, almost a day like today. Very sunny and warm and uh, I remember I had my London fog on and we uh, climbed into the car just excited to have a vacation and um, we were told by our driver, I will not uh, divulge her name, that we had no heat in the car, which was really cool with us. That was fine. I mean, it was a nice day. Well, by the time we reached Roanoke, Virginia, there was a blizzard. We had no heat in the car. We were frozen. We were uh, taking turns hanging out of the windows, cleaning off the windshield, the frozen windshield. I had a scarf that was just hanging out the window. Unbelievable. Did we have money to put chains on the tires? No, we did not. We did not. Did we have money to buy food? No, we did not. We were college students. Well, we did uh, manage to, well, I guess Diane must have had a credit card, but we waited for hours for chains and we threw our money in the pile and each had a cup of hot cocoa. And then we climbed back in the car on our way. By the time we um, did reach 80, or actually Chambersburg, um, all of the exits were um, snowed in. It was an incredible blizzard. We could not see to drive. And the next thing we knew, we were um, we were hit by another automobile from behind, which spun us around in the in the highway. And um, eighteen wheelers were flying by, so we figured we'd be next to uh, be bumped by one of those. But Diane, thankfully, could go with the driver of the car that hit us and um, find some assistance for us. So we sat there in the car, all huddled together with uh, bodily warmth, and um, we we're. We were very close to drifting into a deep sleep, and then a Pennsylvania State Trooper knocked on the window and uh, rescued us, and we um, did, um, you know, warm up and uh, ended up spending the night in a hotel in, or a motel in Chambersburg, and did have to spend the night, though, because uh, no one could, um, you know, even uh, manage the roads to, to reach us. So by the time I got to my mom's house, uh, she had no heat. <laughs> she had no heat. We had no way to cook our Thanksgiving meal, and um, but we went to a, a neighbor who did have it. And, but we came home and uh, we put the turkey in the um, outside and put a rock on top. And some creature stole the turkey, and it just was a comedy of errors that that time that, that year. But the very next day, it was time to return home, so we all climbed back into Diane's car, which did have heat, and. Um, we had an uneventful trip home to uh, Catawba, and, um, but I always remember that, that trip. I will never forget that trip. And I have to tell you that that, that blizzard of 1969, I remember clearly that people who, who were strangers were spending the night with each other in, in motels. And uh, um, it was, uh, I've never known a blizzard quite like that ever since, at least through my experience. So thank you for letting me share that little story with you.